Hey guys. All right, guys, we're here today to do a Patreon request, and that request comes from the guy or the lady or whatever they see themselves as, gender neutral, whatever. Uh, the patron asked us to check out Ayatara Suru. I think I'm pronouncing it all right. Yeah. Now, this one, because I didn't, I, I honestly, from all the bands in Finland, this is one that I've never heard before, uh, which I'm starting to find uh, surprising at this point because I, I kind of felt like I perhaps knew. 95% of them. Turns out I only know like 50% of them. You forget that every person in Finland has a band. Yes. And, uh, and some of them multiple. Bands. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I went on Metal Encyclopedia, which is my go-to. And For your metal it, knowledge? Yeah, it said it's a, a... Obviously, it said it's a band from Finland. I knew that already. A black metal band from Finland. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, I don't. we haven't done any black metal on the channel in a long time. And uh, I like my metal the way I like my coffee. So, uh, why not? I say, why not? By the way, the, the name of the song, Suru, if you add a couple more of those, you have a Sururu, which in, in Brazilian means like a little um, kafafo, not kafafo, a little, um, not a fight, but like a little, like, like a little brawl, a little scuffle. Scuffle yeah. is a better word, you know, because it could be some pushing and shoving. There's no, not necessarily that's, that's some, basically it. yeah, there's no, I mean, it, it's not necessarily means that there's like fists being thrown, but there could be some fists being thrown as well. You know, uh, so yeah, so I just figure I'll drop some knowledge. The more you um, know. It's one of those things that perhaps one day while you're in Finland and somebody says Suru, I don't even know what that means, but somebody says Suru, you say, hey, you know, you had a couple more of those and you got yourself a Brazilian expression. Maybe it's a way to pick up chicks at the bar. I, Maybe. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Dropping some knowledge. Dropping some knowledge at the bar because let's face it, when you're at a bar, there's only certain accents that get you the girls. Finnish accent, perhaps not one of those. Italian? You never know. Maybe. French? Oh, come on, man. It's like having a Pakistani accent. I mean, how many chicks are you going to pick up with a, with a you're Pakistani friendly, accent? No, I'm not a fa I'm, I'm, I'm just being honest here. Like, I'm just keeping it's it real. It's like when Asim goes to the bars. As Asim like, is not watching this video, so I can say that. Yeah, it's like when he goes to bars and he's like, hi. Uh, and they're like, oh, what's your name? Uh, Asim. I know, but but he but he can make other accents. True, he's actually true. really good. He, make, he yeah. makes a killer Ozzy Osbourne. So maybe that will get the maybe, chicks at the yeah. bar. Maybe he'll finally find the... Uh, yeah. Uh, Sharon. Yeah. Sharon is looking for Sharon. All, all right, anyways. Uh, Ayatara Suru. You ready for this? Yeah. Let's do this.
guess this is it. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let you see your piece. Oh, what, what that, was, that was actually nice. Yeah. I, I love the nice mellow ending. The mellow end. Yeah, I agree. Anything else you wanna say? Because, okay, hold on. I, I I know this is a mistake for me oh. on my end. Because when I saw the name of the band and the name of the song, it did not occur to me that they were going to be singing in Finnish. How? I, I don't know. When they start singing in Finnish, I was like, oh, this isn't Finnish? And then and immediately... Finnish band. And, and I know, clearly I English. know, I know. But I didn't unless think about it. it's like Latin, but even then it's I didn't not think, like... I, honestly, I didn't think about it. So when they, when they start singing, that thought came to my mind. Oh, this isn't Finnish? And then immediately after that was like... Why am I surprised? The name of the band, the name of the song, like what else would they be singing in like freaking Norwegian? In German. Yeah, uh, I know. It was just a brain fart on my end. But then I was like, oh, interesting. His, I, love, I love his nice kind of clean vocals, as you could put it. Mm -hmm. oh. well, by the way, the guy with the tattoo on his back, did it say Lucifer at the end? I was trying to read it and I couldn't, I couldn't read it. They, they, did it say look, Lucifer? They looked like a really like like hardcore black metal band they look like a bunch of guys i wouldn't want to see in a dark alley in oh. helsinki on a snowy day with someone in a park i mean wow i like definitely wouldn't want to when we go to when we go them. to when we go to film one let's just try to stay clear of the alleyways yeah the dark alleyways i i don't need i don't even know if they're from helsinki but uh you know regardless they look like a a bunch of guys you really don't want to cross yeah. but anyways I'm, I'm wondering if anybody knows mm. does the tattoo see lucifer because it looked like it said Lucifer. I know it's not important as far as the song is concerned, but I was, <coughs> I was just wondering if it said Lucifer. Anyway, somebody will let us know if it's yeah. Lucifer. Uh, I, I, I'm with you. I, I like the vocals. I like the, the, the change. His clean vocals were really nice, though. I, I almost like the clean vocals more than the harsh vocals. Yeah. It added a, a very... Um, it added a dark atmosphere to the... The song already had a dark atmosphere, but the... But those, the those, those clean vocals were more of like... I don't know, the mellow... Like it, it kind of, the, the ending was a lot more like mellow to hold the whole riff because the riff was really, really like doom and gloom. Yeah, yeah really metal. dark. Yeah, yeah, really dark. But I thought his clean vocals, and this may sound like, uh, like something that doesn't make any sense because you know his clean vocals should be adding melody and yeah. stuff to the song. Which, but to me, they almost added a sense of darkness to the song. It made the song feel really uneasy. Like yeah. it made the song feel very. Um, <coughs> He's got a little bit of a cold. Yeah. Uh, it made the song feel a little bit uh, almost unholy, if you will. It, it gave a, a different, the clean vocals gave a different dynamic to the song. It really it, it gave the song some darkness to it. More than the harsh vocals, I felt, more than the harsh yeah. vocals. But that melody towards the end of the song was absolutely magnificent. I really like how the song ended with that melody and you see uh, the lake, the water. Really cool. I really like it. That, this is a surprise. Um, I wasn't really expecting. Yeah, you know, I was. I was when black metal, I was expecting like some fast ass drums. Like speaking of fast ass drums, but there's a nice part there towards the end of the song with the double pedaling on the drums that was absolutely incredible. I was incredible. expecting like you were expecting vocals the whole way through. Some screaming. I saw. Some the, I, saw drum. I saw the guys and I'm like, oh shit, that's exactly what's gonna be. But no, because they had that that look. They have that look, but it's like. A lot more melodic. A lot, yeah, way more melodic than yeah. I thought. I, I agree with you. When I saw them walking up to the stage, by the way, it looked like they were a Numi Rock or something like that. Yeah. When they were w walking up to the stage, I kind of felt like, oh, this is going to be one of those like absolutely balls to the wall, black drink my, bands. yeah, drink my blood and burn a church. Speaking of burning churches, that was a drummer of a black metal band in New Zealand. He burned two churches a couple, New Zealand? yeah, a couple of weeks ago or something. I, I don't know. People think, think it'd be Norway. I, I know, but the whole burning of the church is not cool. Like. You know, I just... That, that was totally, like, eight years ago. I know, that was so, like, 1980s. You know, whatever, let's move on from that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like, teach his own. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, teach his own, whatever. Uh, anyways, uh, when I saw them walking up to the stage, I kind of felt like, wow, this is what we're going to get. One of those, like, absolutely... Well, it was a lot more like, melodic. Blood coming out of his mouth as he's singing, you, you mean, know. Like, Belphegor. I was expecting some Belphegor. And, yeah, a, a mixture of both. I was expecting some Belphegor. And we got a lot more melody out of it. Mm -hmm. and, and I really dig that. And I dig the change in the that, vocals. But that, metal, that kind of mellow part at the end kind of going into the sunset. That was really cool. Yeah, that was really cool. cool. And I like the drums before that. The double pedaling on the drums really gave the song some heaviness. Uh, they didn't use it earlier, but at that part of the song, it just gave gave a nice push towards that melody. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I like that. I like that dynamic. 
All right, guys, this is it for today. Thank you, the person who requested. Thank you. Thank you for the request. We'll be back tomorrow with more videos. All right, guys, see you. See you.